up, y'all? This is Sean Shoemaker coming to y'all live from New Orleans. Uh, it's real festive down here, man. We're in the French quarters. And, uh, you know, we got the New York Nation all over the place. We got Jackson Square straight up here. So, about to get it in. live in Jackson Square, uh, where behind me to the right you have the Cabildo, and uh, behind me to my left we have the St. Louis Cathedral, and I mean these are historic uh, buildings here in the French Quarter, uh, in the heart of New Orleans. Alright, we're still here at the Jackson Square, and who would have ever thought that I would be here just living my dream, conducting seminars across the country, uh, I've got to shout out the women's, the Thick and Sexies women's group here. Uh, the NOLA chapter here in New Orleans. Um, we came out here Friday night um, for the Be Holistically Healthy, Not Scarily Skinny seminar. And uh, who would ever thought that I would be here? Um, it's amazing. All right, man, I, I just had so, to share something with you. Um, you know, I have some friends and family members that know me and know that I've been doing this shoe fit uh, for a while. And uh, a friend of mine, Tracy Hatfield, uh, she hit me up on the email the other day and she was saying, what have you become, an overnight sensation? And I had to laugh, but you know what, I got, to, got me to thinking and, um, you know, I was like, you know, I've been doing this for a while. And, and, and apparently there's steps that you have to take to get to that. And I, I thought about it, man, and I came up with this, this uh, formula, I guess you could say, uh, and I call it the five A's. Um, and basically what that means is that, you know, there's steps and procedures that you have to take in order to get to where you are. So basically everything that you're seeing now is actually the benefits from the seeds that I've sold years ago. I mean, I've always wanted to do uh, something to do with health and fitness. I mean, being an athlete, uh, playing basketball, uh, you know, in Boston pretty much all my life. You know, it was easy for me to slide into the... Uh, it was easy for me to slide into, you know, the health and fitness industry. Um, so basically, I've been trying to do this for a long time now, and now you're seeing the, the the rewards from all my hard work that I put in. So again, the five A's um, basically is a formula that I came up with that sort of breaks down each step to help you take total control of your life. All right, here we go. Let's break it down. The five A's. Uh, basically, the first A is affirmation. And what that is, is making a bold statement affirming that something is going to happen, that you're going to do something. Um, for instance, uh, for women out there, you can affirm and make a bold statement that I'm going to have a man or I'm going to find true love in six months. Now, we both know that's a bold statement to put out there because you never know who's going to come into your life. You don't know who you're going to meet. So, But if, if that's your affirmation, you make a bold statement and declare that and believe that that's going to happen. And you're putting that energy out there knowing that's going to happen. So that's the first A is an affirmation, uh, basically you know, telling yourself that this is going to happen. Not that you wish that it's going to happen or that you think you're going to find true love or that you hope that you're gonna find true love, you know, believe it, believe it, because it is a bold statement, so you actually affirm that, hey, you know, I'm gonna find true love within six months. Now, the second A in the five A's of basically taking complete control over your life is accountability. And basically what that is, is just being held accountable for what your goal is, uh, what you uh, affirm to do uh, in the first step. Now, you said that in six months, you're going to have a true love in your life. Now, basically with the second step, accountability, you want to put that word out there. You want to tell your best friends, you want to tell your parents, you want to tell you know people that love you that are actually going to hold you accountable for that. Uh, so don't think that if you tell your best girl that you want to lose weight, that she's not going to check you when she sees you eating cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. So that's being held accountable for what your affirmation is in the first step. And on a spiritual level, you're putting forth a lot of energy towards your goals. Now, and if you're able to multiply your efforts by telling all these people 
then their energy is going to be working towards the goal as well because of the laws of attraction. Like attract like. Now in the third A and the five A's of taking complete control of your life is alignment. And basically what that means is just pretty much putting yourself in a position to achieve your goal. Uh, your goal is to find true love within six months. You have to put yourself out there uh, to meet people. Um, I'm not saying, you know, you got to go to the club every week and anything like that. No, but just put yourself out there to meet people. Uh, maybe go to the church or, go, or join some type of, you know, book club or organization uh, for, for things you like to do. And basically put yourself out there to meet someone because, you know, we both know that some guy's not magically going to appear in your living room. You have to put yourself out there and align yourself uh, in a position to meet someone. Now, the fourth A and the five A's of taking complete control of your life is action. Now, we all know what action means. Action is basically doing everything in your power to help you achieve your goals. Now, knowing that something bigger is going to happen, but you have to do everything in your control. So, again, if your goal is to find true love uh, within a time frame of six months, I mean, you have to do everything in your power. And that might mean, you know, going out and buying a new outfit, uh, making yourself presentable, getting your hair done, nails done everything did I mean you got to be fancy no nah, but for real it's all about taking action and doing everything in your power to reach your goal all right now at this point you have affirmed what you're gonna do um, you held yourself accountable by telling other people what you're gonna do you aligned yourself by putting yourself in a position to do what you have to do and you have taken action now you know it's gonna happen God's gonna allow it to happen for all the parents out there, if your son comes up to you and says, Mom, I'm going to play the guitar, you know, and, uh, you know, and I told everyone else that I'm going to play the guitar, and they offered some free classes at school to teach me how to play the guitar, and, uh, you know, I started watching videos to teach me how to play the guitar as well and, and, and to get different, you know, ideas on, on, on different styles of guitars that I can play. Um, you know, and he asked you, Mom, and the only thing he wants from you is to get a guitar. Mom, can I get a guitar? What are you going to do as a parent? You're going to get him a guitar because that's your child, and you want to give him the desires of his heart. And, and, and basically, you're God's child, so why would you think that God would do any less for you than you would do for your own child? Now, as the sun sets on my last evening here in New Orleans, I just want to let you know what the fifth A of the five A's of taking complete control of your life, and that's acknowledgement. That's just pretty much acknowledging that none of this has happened by accident. That you have a purpose-filled life, and that God has played his role in allowing this to happen. And, and also, you've done your part by the first four steps by making this happen for yourself. And you can repeat this process in every facet of your life to help you achieve your goals. And then people will be asking you, how did you become an overnight sensation?